Hello, and welcome to our lesson on measuring and naming angles. We need to understand what the different names of angles are. If an angle is less than 90 degrees, it is called acute. If it is equal to 90 degrees, it is right angled. If it is greater than 90, but less than 180, it is obtuse and if it is greater than 180 but less than 360 it is reflex so we're going to measure each of these three angles and label them with their correct name so the first thing we do is we align our protractor with our crosshairs and we identify the zero on the lower scale and we're going to go from here to the other line in an anti-clockwise direction so you can see we land at the 60 degrees be careful not to use 120 because this is you start at zero on the top scale so this angle is 60 degrees so we call it an acute angle okay let's try the next one so we line up our crosshairs so they are on the intersection of the two lines. This time we're going to use the top scale, so this is the zero, and we're going to go in a clockwise direction. So we have zero to 10, to 20, to 30, to 33 degrees. And we call this angle again an acute angle. Okay, let's try the next one. So we've lined it up with zero on this line. So we're going to use the bottom scale and we're going to go around in an anti-clockwise direction. So we'll go to 10, to 40, to 70, to 100, 130, 140, 150, 151, 100 and 52 degrees and because this is greater than 90 but less than 180 it is an obtuse angle okay let's try a few more questions so if you want to try these questions yourself using a protractor you can pause this video and resume it when you're ready Okay, so we'll begin with this question. So we've lined up our protractor, so the crosshairs are on the intersection of the two lines. We're going to go in an anti-clockwise direction using the lower scale. And we go to 90, to 95, to 96, 97, 98 degrees. And because it is greater than 90, but less than 180, it is called obtuse. Let's try the next angle. So we're going to use the top scale and we're going to go in a clockwise direction, starting from zero to 20, to 40, to 60, to 80, to 100, 110, and 115 degrees and again because it is greater than 90 but less than 180 it is another obtuse angle we have a 180 degree protractor but the angle clearly goes beyond this so there are two things we can do we can even measure this angle here and add it on to this angle which we know is 180 degrees or we can measure this angle and subtract this angle from 360 degrees I'm going to work out the blue angle and subtract it from 360 degrees so I'm going to use the top scale and I'm going to work it around past 90 in a clockwise direction 
to 130 degrees. So the blue angle is 130 degrees. So on this angle will be 360 take away 130 which is 230 degrees which makes it a reflex angle. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.